Jerry Bowden. Ted, did you watch? You said you watched the press conference, right? Okay. Did you just watch the main thing, or did you watch the post stuff too, with like Paul Allen? Ty, what are your first impressions of new Vikings head coach, Kevin O'Connell? Definitely going to be different than when Mike Zimmer was head coach. Literally everything that he was saying in that press conference was the opposite of what it sounds like Zimmer was. No, it was players. No. He's definitely going to be a player's coach. I think we'll be able to get a lot of people through free agency that want to come play for him. machine pistol Call me crazy, I know, call me crazy, you know, this is, this is, this is going to be something that I know you're probably not going to agree with, but just because Kevin O'Connell likes Kirk Cousins doesn't mean you can't rule out the fact that he's not going to be, or that he's going to be gone next year. No, 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 here's why, here's why. Yes, Kevin O'Connell says he would like to work with him. Did you see... Did you see Quessy? Quessy was kind of more hesitant about it. He's not for sure locked into Kirk. Ty, if they... They're going to explore trade options. 
They could they could also be using that to get a trade. How well you're going to when you walk in and your quarter that's who's under contract as your quarterback, you're not gonna talk crap about him. I won't rule it out. It's ultimately going to come down to Quessy. Well, Ty, think about this. This is more... If Quessy does this... Quessy does this and it's a bad move, he's done. You extend him two, three years. Quessy's only signed for like four years, I'm pretty sure. So you do this and it doesn't work, well, there goes your only chance of being a GM. Which is... They could, but Quest... I'm pretty sure the way that Quest was, sound, was talking, he's going to take anyone. He'll take... He'll coach anyone. I think no. If I think they're gonna be open, they're gonna be open. Cousins, or you take a risk on Deshaun Watson. Still a possibility. Well, actually, never mind, because I just saw reports that um, his agent declined those statements. Yep. Maybe not. But that's fine. I think what they're going to do, Ty, because you could just tell from the way that Questy was kind of sitting there that he was not in, he's not in full agreement yet with KOC that he wants Kirk Cousins to be the quarterback. They're going to try to find the way to clear up his cap. If, Kirk, if they can find a way to get Kirk Cousins to take a pay cut... I would be more than happy to have him as our quarterback next year because he is a good quarterback. And you get him into a new system, I think he could probably th be really good. He, he could be good, but you're not going to be able to make it. He's not a person that's going to be able to carry us to a Super Bowl on his own. He's going to need, we need to build a team around him. And if we're going to do that, he needs to take a pay cut. That's the only way we can make it anywhere. That's what I'm saying. If he's not willing to take a pay cut, they're going to find, they're going to explore trade off offers. I just don't think... That we will extend him. I think there's a chance of maybe, maybe running him through this year without taking a pay cut. But then we're just building towards 23. We're just going to see how he is and how he really fits into this offense. If he's willing to take a pay cut, that's the only way that I'll take Kirk Cousins. If he's willing to take a pay cut to build a, a team around him, I would be more than happy to keep him because stats-wise, he is a good quarterback. He can't win on his own. He just can't.
If you will be more open, if Kevin O'Connell can make Kirk Cousins like Matthew Stafford was this year, kind of change him the way he plays, take more risk, let it, let him throw the football. If he does that, if if he does, if he does, that's gonna be good. But it's like I said, Tyler, you you're paying a quarterback like one third of your cap. You're not gonna have any space to do anything in free agency. That's why he needs to take a pay cut. He needs a pay cut, or I I don't see him as a quarterback next year. Because we're not going to extend him with the same amount of money. I don't know. I'm almost that zone already. But Ty, you can't tell me right now. You go and you let offers come in. If you're Quasi Adolfo Menso, right? This is your first time as an NFL GM. Could possibly be your only chance if you suck. Really could be your only chance. If you go with Kirk Cousins, with this cap... And you extend him four years, not taking much of a pay cut, and he ends up sucking, you're screwed. That means you're putting your career on Kirk Cousins. That they need to do something right away. That's why I'm saying, you get rid of Kirk. It's just a. If you're able to, if you're KOC or not, if you're Quessy, and you're li listening to trade offers, right? And you see that a team is willing to give a you to give you a high first round pick, you're taking it as a new GM. You're clearing up. What is it like 35 mil cap space? There's a kid on me, by the way. He's he ran. You're give you're you're clearing up 35 mil, and you're getting good draft picks. If you're a GM, brand new GM, that's like a dream scenario. You can go get your quarterback. And you have cap room to build that roster. So they have to... I'm fine. Like I said, Kirk Cousins... Kirk Cousins takes a pay cut. I'm fine with Kirk. He's getting paid way too much. He's not that good. His skills are there. He can't win. It's plain and simple. He can't win. lot of money for what ifs and that's the thing Tyler that's something that we've been hoping for a long time is the fact of oh Kirk has all this potential you know he gets every he has everything in place he could be a top tier quarterback well he's had all that stuff in place and he still barely made playoffs Up, oh, he's weak. 
Tyler, he's thirsting, you... You donkey. I'm dead. Yep. Still look like rebooting. Reboot. Reboot jungle. Kirk Cousins, no reason to assume that Kirk would take pay cut for Vikings. Kirk Cousins is not interested in a pay cut. That's what, That's why he got him. That just shows you that he is not willing to win. He doesn't want to win. He's in it for the money. If you truly want a winning quarterback, if you want a winning quarterback, you do it. Because you look at Patrick Mahomes, right? Patrick Mahomes' contract, he's making a lot of money. He's, he's making a lot of money. But here's the thing. You go and look at his contract, the Chiefs are able to work around it. If they get a chance to go and make changes... He's willing to adjust it to help benefit the team. How do you think they built up that defense or O line? You're not, you're gonna suck. You're not gonna have a team. You're not gonna have a good team when your quarterback is taking up a third of your cap space, unless you have like Aaron Rodgers. And even Aaron Rodgers, that's not even that good there because they, yeah, they do good in regular season, but they suck in the playoffs. Kirk doesn't take a pay cut, I don't care. You're not extending him. The only way you can extend him is if he takes a pay cut. No. Kirk is part of me. If we extend Kirk and it doesn't benefit the team, yes.
stupid. We're stupid. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Like I said, I don't think Quasi is a hundred percent all in on Kirk Cousins. Oh, you can't even reach that far with that thing. Tyler, it's like Tilted Zone Wars. There you go. Focus that guy on your right. He's gonna screw you over. Tyler, since the thing isn't working, please post your three questions and five responses on Google Classroom. Short answer questions for the blended assignment Friday. 218. Do we need to do it tonight then, or can we do it tomorrow? We have to post them on Classroom. That was just my screen. Just don't build, lol. Nice. Wait, what? Oh. Get to before school tomorrow. <sighs> Back out, Ty. next four weeks are going to be exciting. I do really like the fact though that O'Connell already wants to get to work and already wants to start getting stuff figured out. He's a great guy. He's a he's a player guy. He wants the players to do good and they want he wants his players to respect them. Hey, have a good game. Because this leaves, now that we're switching, or not completely confirmed yet, but did you see that we could be changing our base defense to a 3-4? Yep. So right now we're running we a... his biggest fans, Lucas. We are a 4-3 defense where there's four linemen, three linebackers sort of thing. That's kind of the basic. Obviously, it's more advanced than that. But going to a 3-4 would involve... 
a lot more outside linebacker, which right now, especially since Anthony Barr is gone, we're lacking. I think it's going to be a good move. It's something the Vikings haven't done since like the 80s, I'm pretty sure, was the last time they ran a 3-4. It's going to be a good move. The only thing, we do not have the personnel to do it yet. And that's where it comes into play of Kirk Cousins' contract. Find a way, t you find a way to make some cap space, go out in free agency, sign those players that would fit. Where are we going? But you find those, you find those players in free agency, draft players. If you're gonna be changing to a three-four, we don't have, like I said, we don't have the personnel yet. I think Daniel Hunter is going to thrive in a 3-4 if we end up keeping him. Obviously, it is still talks of will he stay, will he not. Tyler, you have to take that stuff with a grain of salt. Yes, that's why he took this job because there is a lot of stuff on that. There's a lot of stuff on that team, but Tyler, he also mentioned Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr is a free agent. So you can't... He's saying this stuff because he knows what this team has been about, the stars that have been on it. I would not be mad if they try to go for Anthony Barr with them going to a 3-4. I think it would be a good move to get him. But th that cap space... You have to, you trade away Daniel Hunter, that clears up cap space. You restructure Adam Thiel and Harrison Smith, because I'm, I can guarantee both of them would take a pay cut. I can guarantee um, Eric Kendricks would, because they've done it in the past. They want this team to be good. They want to play for this team. If they really want to play for this team and win, they'll be willing to take a pay cut. That's why I don't think Kirk Cousins is really a winning quarterback. He, all he cares about is making the money. He doesn't care about the team's success. He only cares about his and how can I get more money in this league. Maybe that could change now that KOC's have, uh, head coach, but I just don't think that's the way that Kirk Cousins is. But they did say, I saw um, um, a reporter, Vikings reporter, I can't think of his name, Chris, um, why can't I think of his last name? But anyways, he he interviewed or talked with um, Mark Wilf, and they he said that Quasi and Kevin O'Connell have already been talking about that Kirk Cousins contract. It's been the top of their list right now. Oh my god, there's no recoil. Yeah, just a little, just that little bit of aim down, it makes a big difference.
Now, Tyler, I'm going to ask you a question here. This is... I'm just saying or asking you this because I know it's been potential people or potential veterans that could get the boot. If you had to pick to clear up cap space, get rid of these veterans, or trade them away, do you trade away, here's the options, Kirk Cousins, Adam Thielen, Harrison Smith, or Daniil Hunter? Those are the big veteran players that are taking up a lot of cap space. If you had to get one off the team, who would you take? Now, I'm not saying... This is just all you. This is your own preference. It's not what the Vikings should do or anything. It's just... Who do you think's getting way... Paid way more? I don't know the exact numbers. What? Daniil Hunter, Daniil Hunter, Eric Kendricks, um, Harrison Smith, um, Justin, I mean not Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, and Kirk Cousins. Had to get rid of one. Clear up cap space. Probably get like a third or fourth round pick depending on who you trade. Daniel Hunter, I think you could. Daniel and Kirk, I bet you could get a first round pick easily for him. Take that in consideration too. If you were in, I don't think, I think Thielen will do all that he needs to, to make sure that he stays a Viking. He'll take the pay cut. Well, the hitman, Harrison Smith, right now, um, the, he's, um, uh, he's under contract for four. Four more years, I think, are left on his contract. But the way that they did it is that if he retires, they can adjust his contract so it's not as much as of, of a cap hit. I think, at least. Pretty sure that's what it was going into it. Don't quote me on that. but So he's... I think he would probably take a pay cut. I know that um, Eric Kendricks has taken pay cuts in the past. Um, I don't know. I know Daniel Hunter wants the money. And I know Kirk Cousins wants the money. That's why I say you go and limit it down to the players that actually want to play on this team. And the players that just want to get the money. It has to come down to Kirk and probably Daniel. You can trade away Daniil. I have nothing against keeping both of them, and I have nothing against getting rid of them. Daniil Hunter is awesome. He's probably one of the best, if not the best, edge rushers in the NFL when healthy. It's just a fact he can't get healthy or stay healthy and consistently win. That's not going to happen. I can't... I don't see a reason to trade away Delvin. Now, he's under a huge contract. But it's not terrible against the cap right now. I think you can run it with Delvin. Like I said, though, I th it has to come down to probably Kirk and Daniil. And if I had to say... I would do Daniil. 
if you want to, it just, it's going to depend on free agency. Kirk Cousins, I hate his contract. He's a good player, but his contract sucks. You go and get rid of Daniil Hunter. Daniil Hunter is injury prone. He barely plays anyways. We still found a way to be one of the top sack leaders without him for a ha over half the season. That just shows we don't necessarily need him. He's good. He's Like I said, he's awesome, but he can't stay healthy, and he wants to be the highest paid rusher in the league. I just don't see them doing that. Skill-wise, who's more important at that position? Obviously, Daniil's way more important than Kirk Cousins. If playing-wise, like their skill, Daniil's a way better at his position than Kirk is with his respectable position. Uh, not really. I think that's what it's going to come down to. If Quasi really wants Kirk Cousins that bad, I don't think Quasi's going to keep him or extend him. I think it's going to be, hey, we'll try you out for a year and they'll find a way to clear up cap space. Whether that's getting rid of Daniil or Kendrick's Oh, you're not even, bro. I'll tell you, better be coming back soon because they're coming this way. No, Tyler, this is the most overpowered shit in the game. No, no! Tyler, I just hit that kid for like 90. Ooh, pull it out. Fuck it. <gasps> Get that mid miss, yeah. So what is it, a 2v1, or 2v2, v1? Yep. Okay. What? I suppose we probably should. Beat me again. 
Oh. Oh, well. Tyler, do you have, um... Oh shit, I found the solo, he's rushing him. Oh my gosh. So I can guarantee they're using gyro. Oh, that's on the rock. No, Tyler, why did you kill him? Ty, you have no white meds at all. Cracked. We're so screwed. Tyler, do we just bought rush? Do you have a launch? Now's my chance. Oh. <laughs> Tyler, we're so screwed. Yep. Oh my god, there's a chest. Oh, there's a big pod and minis. Oh, two big pots. Don't tell me. a chance that I can get a flopper. That's on the flopper. Okay. Flopper. Cap. They're breaking us down. They're rocking low ground. I think I know where they are. They're in the box together. Hit them once. Bro. 
think they can win the heal off. Oh shit. Oh, Ty, you got one? Oh, let's go. Vicroy. Thought mm. we did donkey. respectable I could see it I can see a second round he brought the team to the freaking NFC championship and to a Super Bowl Made it farther than the playoffs than Kirk Cousins has. It's true, too. You know it. You know it. I don't want him. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd be a freaking same situation as Kirk Cousins, except worse. Your life is so boring. Technically, you didn't. <sighs> Screw this. Loki Spider Man away. Ty, you could just go through that one thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm so lit right now. Your life is so boring. Ty, I got a mini for you. Up. Oh. 
Yo, Tyler! Join him, join him! Wait, why can't I get on it? Alright, drop out your guns. Ah. Oh, why'd you kill the good guy? Finally found people good, and then pe they were like, "Oh, it's three kills!" Snipe that kid. He's right there. Aim it. Nice. Go. Go. Just hit your shots, kid. Ty, right, heal up. Grab my reboot. Reboot jungle. Do it now. You don't have enough time. Cap. Okay, I kind of want to play Madden. In that Madden mood. Who's still watching my stream? Jenna, are you the only one watching? I had three people at one time. No, well, I would have actually, like, you know, uploaded or put a thing on, like, Twitter and Facebook and stuff if we actually talked about football, but, you know, you don't want to. I was literally asking you questions and you're like, oh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Ty, just think my reboot card's running out. I might as well just change the name of the f stream. Oh, I'm so lit right now, your life is so boring.
Yep. Bro, you're Spider Man. Uh, it, it doesn't take much to get good with it, Tyler. Tyler, all you do is connect to trees. Nice. That's... Tyler, reboot Chungle Fiend or I'm getting on Madden. Uh. Tyler, now you know how it feels when I want to actually play for it with you and you're like, no. We need to do our freaking English. I don't either, but you know what? We have to. Um, she, she did. Or do we just say, screw it, we're doing it tomorrow, since, yeah. She's said to do it in classroom. But some people might not have seen that, so they won't do it until tomorrow. Oh. Yep. Okay, I need to turn my packet tomorrow. That's what happens when you don't read, Ty Ty. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm telling you right now, your life is so boring. Do -do -ding! Cardinals release Malcolm Butler from retired list. Do you even know who Malcolm Butler is? Who is he? The what? What do you mean one hit wonder? Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, well, yeah. But it's a pretty big one. Yeah, I like Michael. Michael said that he would play Fortnite with us. He did. Okay. Oh, and no one's watching the stream anymore. Tyler, I did upload this. Tyler! 